Hi everyone, happy Friday. I am still so impressed with how you've been tackling some really challenging material this week. Um, so I was actually just on a run and on the sidewalk and sidewalk chalk, someone had written really big on the ground, um, April is organ donation month. And I found it really, I mean, shocking to myself that I didn't know that, considering that I just taught you all about organ transplants um, yesterday. And so that's a fun fact that this month is organ donation month. And so that lesson was even more fitting than I had realized. Um, and again, I was just on a run to so excuse the, how I look. Um, we are going to move on. We are going to talk about HIV and AIDS. And so this is a topic that we were going to be talking about um, during sex ed for sure, which I'm hoping when we get back to school, we'll be able to have. But it is, it does relate to the immune system because HIV is a virus that attacks your immune system. And so we know that many people um, can die from HIV, but what's really happening is that it's not like HIV that's ultimately killing someone. It's HIV and then AIDS has lowered their immune system so much that something like a flu or a common cold can kill someone. Um, before we get into the lesson, I also want to point out that when I learned about HIV for the first time, I was in fifth grade, and my teacher, Miss Clancy, taught us about HIV, and at the time she said, if you get HIV, you're going to die. Um, and it wasn't like some weird, like silly thing. She was like, it was true. It was true at the time that people got who got HIV were going to die. Um, some sooner than others. Now, obviously, like we're all going to die, but in, but the point was that HIV was considered a death sentence. That is not the case anymore. There has been massive progress made in HIV treatments where people can live very long, healthy lives that if they catch their HIV early enough because they're testing, which I've, like people should always be getting tested for these things, um, they can manage their HIV and live long lives without spreading it to anybody else. And so that's just a really important thing to know that we've come really far um, in this world with HIV. There is not a cure. We can't, like once someone has HIV, we don't have a way to um, get rid of it, but they can manage it so that they can live a long life. Um, if you have any questions about it, of course, reach out to me, but hopefully you learn a lot during this lesson. So I'm going to start sharing my screen with you all. And we're going to start with the PDN. And so you should be looking at a PDN here, which is a little bit of um, some review about allergies and organ transplants. So hit pause, complete your PDN, and click play when you're ready to go. Okay, if you're listening to me, you've done your PDN. So for number one, um, if you receive an organ transplant, it produces antibodies in response to the like new organ. This is an example of rejection. This is C. This is what we don't want to happen, which is why it's really important to find a good match. Number two, um, one of the things that white blood cells do is de-engulfing bacteria. You had to remember that bacteria is a pathogen, and not only do white blood cells make antibodies, but they also engulf or eat the pathogens. Number three, this question was worded a little trickier than it needed to be. The main difference is that the immune response to allergens is unnecessary. So your your immune system responds the same way to allergens as it does to a pathogen, but the difference is with allergens, your immune system is reacting to something harmless, whereas with a pathogen, it's reacting appropriately to something harmful. The last one. There are a lot of different predictions that you could have had here. Um, I'm excited to see what you wrote, but you should have, knowing what you said about what we've talked about with white blood cells, you should have said something about you might get sick more easily. And this is going to connect right into what we're going to learn about HIV. So please scroll to the next page. You are going to watch a brain pop video about HIV. Just so you know, in this lesson, there's going to be a lot of like more scientific terms rather than just white blood cell. You're going to learn about T cells and all sorts of other cells. Like, I want you to know that you are not going to be expected to know all the different types of blood cells. We're going to mainly just be saying white blood cells. Um, for now, please go ahead and pause me so you can watch the video and answer the questions and then hit play when you're ready to go over the question. Go ahead. All right, if you've hit play, it means you've watched the video and you've answered the questions. So your a HIV attacks um, your T cells, but you could have just written white blood cells. We're gonna talk more about, what those, about that in a moment. And why is HIV so dangerous? I mean, there's obviously a couple of things that you could have said, but one of the main things is that it, it weakens someone's immune system so that the, the simplest of pathogens can now kill that person. It weakens their immune system to the point where even something like the common cold could be deadly. Number three, 
can you get HIV from holding hands? That answer is no, no, no. Um, when H we're, I want to talk about the history of HIV um, in a future lesson, but there's a lot of like, I mean, we know that America has, has a, like done a lot of shady things in history and the way America treated HIV when we first learned about it was really, really awful. Um, and there was a lot of misunderstandings about holding hands and so on with some of the HIV. People thought um, if you sat in a seat that someone had just sat in, you could get it. If you were just talking to someone, but you cannot. HIV can only be transmitted through four fluids, blood, semen, vaginal fluid, and breast milk. And we'll talk more about that in a second. And so if you hold hands with someone, if you kiss someone, if you hug someone that has HIV, you are not going to get it from them. And like I said, there are so many treatments now that people who have HIV can be sexually active and so on and still not um, pass on their HIV. We are going to move to the next page. So we have some notes about HIV, and I just want you to follow along while I read them to you. Human immunodeficiency virus. So immunodeficiency means your immune system is now like deficient, it's not working right. Or HIV is a virus that attacks or weakens the immune system. HIV virus attacks a type of white blood cells called T cells. If your immune system is an army protecting your body, T cells are like the generals. They give orders to the other white blood cells, so they're really important. HIV is transmitted, which means passed from person to person, by four fluids, blood, semen, vaginal fluid, breast milk. HIV is not passed through saliva, so from kissing or sharing drinks, through the air, like if someone coughs on you who has it, or normal human contact, such as hugging or shaking hands. HIV hijacks your T cells in four steps. So the first is the HIV virus enters a white blood cell, which is your T cells. The second is once it's entered, the HIV disables the white blood cell so it can't do its job anymore. Three, the HIV virus then uses the white blood cell's DNA to clone itself. And then four, the white blood cell explodes, like literally explodes, releasing thousands of new HIV viruses into the blood. And then this just keeps repeating. So this weakens the person's immune system. You don't need to know those four steps, but you need to know that the HIV attacks the white blood cells and weakens a person's immune system. Then lastly, acquired immunodeficiency syndrome, AIDS, is diagnosed when a person has a very small number of white blood cells, T cells, as a result of HIV. So someone finds out they have HIV. Now, like I said, what it used to be was that eventually that HIV would turn to AIDS. Their white blood cell count would get so low, it would become AIDS and they would die. Now, if people catch their HIV, there are ways that they can live with it for a long time and it will never ever become AIDS. Um, doctors have found ways to make sure that people's blood, count, like white blood cell counts, can stay at a high enough level so that it never becomes AIDS. That's why um, when people are sexually active, it's really important to be testing for STDs and HIV. Because if you don't know you have HIV, then you can't be treating it and you could be spreading it to other people. But you, so people need to know they have it, which is why, again, for people that are sexually active, it is incredibly important to be testing for sexually transmitted diseases, including HIV, which again, we'll talk about a lot more when we do sex ed. Moving on. Check for understanding. Based on the notes, why is HIV slash AIDS so deadly? So again, I've said that now people can live with it, but imagine someone didn't know they had it and they were spreading it to other people. Why, like, why is this so serious? Please go ahead and answer the question by pausing me and hit play when you're ready to move on. Okay, if you've hit play, it means you have answered the question. You should have said something about the fact that it makes it so that a person's immune system can no longer protect them and they can die from um, any other diseases that enter. Okay, we are going to move to the next page. We have some notes here about HIV treatment. And then after that, there are just some related readings here that you're going to do and then an exit ticket. So there really isn't, um, as I've said, like, you guys see me as I do this, catching like little mistakes that happen here. I don't know what is going on with how I've copied and pasted this. Um, so I apologize that you have to watch me do this. Anyways, I will go ahead and fix that exit ticket after this. You don't need to sit here and watch me do that. Um, on another note, the point of this was that you are gonna be finishing this lesson on your own and then completing your exit ticket, which I will have 
fix by the time you get to it. I'm gonna actually stop sharing my screen now. A couple of last things about HIV. This is why one of those reasons sexually transmitted diseases is a reason that um, it's really important people are sexually active to use condoms and other forms of protection to um, pre like prevent against STDs. It's important for people who are sexually active to be getting tested by a doctor and to always be super honest with your doctor so that they can do the appropriate test. Because again, people can live with HIV now, but it is very expensive and it is still a challenge for your whole life. So it's important to prevent those things by being safe. If you have any questions, please feel free to give me a call or a text or join office hours. Otherwise, good luck with the rest of your packet. Make sure to do your exit ticket. Stay safe, wash your hands, and have a wonderful weekend.